In this video, we will see how SAS creates the temporary variable first dot and last dot for each variable specified on the by statement. So we have a data step which is creating a data set named class in work library by reading the data set named class from SAS help library. And then that data set in work library that is class is being used in proc sort and a new data set named class 01 is being created in the work library by sorting the observations in the input data set based on the values present in sex variable and age variable. There is no keyword descending specified before sex or age variable so the values would be sorted in ascending manner that is so from lowest alphabet to highest alphabet uh, as sex is a character variable and as age is a numeric variable, the lowest age value gets sorted on top and then followed by the subsequent ages. That is ascending sex values and ascending age variables. And we have a next data step which is using class 01 which is the sorted data set and a new data set named class 02 is being created. So in this data step, we have initiated by group processing, which is whenever we use a by statement and specify a list of variables. So by grouping or by group processing gets initiated. So whenever we specify a list of variables on the by statement, it creates two temporary variables for each variable specified. So here we have two variables, sex and age. So 2 multiplied by 2. 4 temporary variables would be created and those variables are first dot sex, last dot sex, first dot age and last dot age. So all the variables which are specified to the right will be considered as a group within the values specified in the left side variables. So we'll see what that actually means when we examine the data. So and again here we have four assignment statements creating four variables first underscore sex, last underscore sex, first underscore age and last underscore age and those four variables are being assigned with the values of first dot sex, last dot sex, first dot age and last dot age respectively. So before we run this code and see let us try to manually identify all the four variables. So let's move to the data. So we have our input class data set which has around 19 observations and they are sorted by name. So but we are using this data set as input and we have sorted the data set based on the values in sex and age. So we have seen that we are we have discussed earlier that a sex is a character variable lower alphabets guess first preference and within sex values the age values get sorted so for example all the f values because we have specified sex variable first all the values of f get sorted first and then followed by the records with m and within sex so if there are if there is more than one record what happens is like the low record with the lowest value in age variable comes on top and if there is more than one record within a age value within the same sex value what happens is whatever record is appearing first in the input data set would appear first here. So now let us try to identify and create all the four variables which are being created here. So first is first dot sex, last dot se last, last dot sex, first dot age and last dot age. So let's first identify first underscore sex and last underscore sex. So let us try and now ask this question like what SAS does is so when we are creating this first underscore sex as first dot sex so what SAS does is so it actually asks this question so is this the first record with the value of f in sex variable so is this the first record yes so it would assign a value of one so on the, when the second record is being processed, when we say first dot sex, it has the same question again. Is this the first record in the data set with a value of f in sex variable? Is this the first record? As this is the second record within f, this is assigned a value of 0. Similarly, for all the other f records, it would be 0. So now we are 
we have come to the stage where this record is being processed so again sas asks this question is this the first record with a value of m in sex variable so the question is asked at each unique value in the sex variable so it asks is this the first record with a value of f in the data set and when it is coming to this question it again is asking is this the first record with a value of m in the sex variable so is this the first record yes so it will have a value of 1 so when the second record is being processed is this the first record with a value of m in the input data set no so it would assign a value of 0 so and on the when the third record of m is being processed it again asks is this the first record of a value m in sex variable in this data set no so similarly so all the other variable or all the other observations will also get zero here so there are only two instances of one so let us mark them so the first record of m and the first record of f would get a value in this way so sas has considered this as a group and this as a second group and then within each group of sex the first record gets a value of 1 so this is two instances so let us come to last dot sex now so when we say last dot sex what happens is sas asks this question is this the last record with a value of f in the sex variable is this the last record no so it assigns a value of 0 so again when the second record of f is being processed it again asks the same question so is this the last record with a value of f in this data set in sex variable no so it will be zeros all the way till the last record of f and then if we would get a value of 1 so let us put some green color here and then when this record is being processed which is the first record of males so sas again asks this question is this the last record with a value of m in the input data set no so again when the second record of m is being uh, processed when we are creating the last underscore sex variable with the assignment statement as last dot sex the question is the same so is this the last record with a value of m in sex variable in this data set no so it would continue with zero until the last record of male so and then we would get a value of one here so this is how sas identifies the first dot and last dot for the first variable which we have specified on the by statement which is sex variable so here comes the tricky part which is first underscore age and last underscore age so whenever we are specifying more than one variable in the by statement so sas considers the groups within the values present in previous variables so let us see what that means so when this record is being processed when we are creating first underscore age variable as first dot age so and we also know that we have specified sex and age on the by statement so what question does sas ask is so it asks is this the first record with a value of 11 in age variable within the f value in sex variable so it is again asking that whether the value in sex variable is also being considered so is this the first record with a value of 11 in age variable within f value in sex variable because we have specified that the records are being grouped by values of age within the sex value so first dot age will have meaning only within the unique value combination of sex variable as well so the first dot age is is this the first record for 11 and f yes so we'll have a value of 1 so when this record is being processed the question again being asked is is this the first record with a value of 12 in f yes so we'll have a value of 1 
and then again when this record is being processed for Lewis so it asks the same question is this the first record with a value of 12 in age variable in sex is equal to f is it the first record for 12 and f no so we will have a value of 0 so again when this record is being processed f13 so is this the first record with a value of 13 in f variable yes so we will have a value of 1 so again, when the next record for F13 is processed, when it asks the question, is this the first record with a value of 13 in age variable and F in sex variable, the question become, and the answer becomes no. So it would assign a value of 0. Similarly, for F14, so this is the first record, so it becomes 1. And the next record, it is not the first record with 14 and F, so it becomes 0. 15 and F, is this the first record? Yes, so it would have sign a value of 1. And then 15 and F, this is not the first record in that combination, so it would give a value of 0. So again, when it comes to this question, uh, this record of Thomas, it asks the question, is this the first record with a value of 11 in the value of M in sex variable? yes so it assigns a value of 1 so again for james this is 12 and m so is this the first record with 12 and m so yes so it would become 1 so we have two more records of 12 and m so we have already identified the first record so for the rest of the 12 and m combination it would be a value of 0 and then 13 m of jeffrey so is this the first record yes and then for 14 and m so there are two records for the first record we would get one and for the next record we would get zero so for 15 and m there are two records on the first record we would get a value of one and for the other two other record we would get a value of zero so for 16 and m is the first record with the combination of 16 in age variable and m in sex variable yes so we would get a value of one so this is how SAS assigns first dot age variable values. So let us try to identify last dot age as well with the same data. So again, when the first record is being processed with the value of 11 and F in 11 in age variable and sex in uh, F in sex variable, the question being asked is: Is this the last record with the value of 11 in age variable and F in sex variable? yes there is only one record so it becomes the first and as well as the last so it would assign a value of one so again so there are two records with f and 12 so when the question that is asked is is this the first record with a value of 12 in age variable and f in sex variable the answer is no so it would become zero so there are two there were two records so the second record would become the last record so there are two records in f13 the first record is not the last record so the second record is the last record so we would get a value of one there so there are two records in 14 and f so for the first record we would get a value of zero for the second and the last record it is one so two records with a value of f and 15 so the first record would get a value of 0 and the second record would get a value of 1 because the second record is the last record so there is only one record for 11 and m the question that is asked is is this the last record with a value of 11 in age variable with a value of m in sex variable so this would become 1 because if it is the first record if there is only one record it will be the first and last so there are three records with 12 and m so on the last record we would get a value of one on the other two records we would get a value of zero so 13 and m there is only one record so if there is only one record that is the last record so it would get a value of one so m and 14 there are two records so for the first record we would get a value of 0 and for the next record we would get a value of 1 and 15 there is only one record so it we would get the value of 1 here so there are two records sorry there are two records 
with m and 15 so for the first record it would be 0 and for the next record it would be 1 so for m16 there is only one record so which is is the first record as well as the last record so we would get a value of 1 here so this is how sas creates first dot and last dot variables and whenever we specify more than one variable all the variables which are specified on the left side of that variable will also be considered when creating the those temporary variables